Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to another trucking good video from Squirrel. Puns intended, absolutely. Now, if you remember, we were... Uh, let's just have a look at the menu, on the map, sorry, right, here. I took a, a really extra wide load to this quarry here, and that's where the last video ended. If you've not watched that, go and watch it, it was pretty good. And I then drove up to Rowclaw to rest up and get some minor repairs done. I took a small um, trailer, a small journey if you like, to Dresden, because I hadn't discovered Dresden before, so I thought, oh, I'll just take that journey. So I did that, obviously didn't record it because it's just a tiny little thing. And while I was in Dresden, I noticed Leipzig was here, and there wasn't any good jobs from, Dres from Dresden, so I just drove down this motorway here, went into Leipzig, and this is where I am at the moment. And obviously I'm looking for a good job to do. Now, I have the uh, wide load um, mod installed, the one with the extra wide loads on it. I also have a mod that's given us some nice uh, names here like DHL, Total, Aldi, SO. You know, kind of brand names that you might recognise as opposed to the crummy, you know, Euro trucking company ones, which are a bit naff. So, I'm in Leipzig, looking for a job, and top of the list, look at this bad boy up here. Uh, it's a 14 ton fragile cargo, heavy or oversized. I can't even tell what the hell that is. I have no idea what that is looking at. It looks like parts for something. Now, here's the interesting thing. It's up to Aberdeen in Scotland, which means taking the ferry. It's paying £55,000, which is damn good money because I'm on 151. So by the time, if I don't trash the truck or the trailer, I should be knocking on the door of 200 by the time we take fuel out and repairs and that kind of thing. And that's going to put me damn close to paying that loan off. So I'm tempted to take this, although I have said this before, I'm not entirely sure these loads are going to fit onto the bloody ferry crossing here so this may end up as a video where I can't get across the ferry and I have to load the game back in and pick something else we shall see what happens uh, but if it does come in you'll notice at the bank now I owe 192,000 which means I could pay off my loan if I do this job well I could pay off my loan and then I can get another one and, <laughs> and when I get another one I can then hopefully open up a new garage uh, get some more trucks hire some new people, and start making some more money. Oh, one thing to point out. Um, it's been snowing. Yeah. When I slept over in Leipzig um, last night, as you can see, I woke up this... Um, sorry, when I slept over in Dresden, I should say, I woke up and it had been snowing, so I drove over to Leipzig in the snow. In other words, I've installed Winter Mod Pack 3. <laughs> And uh, we're going to do this in the snow. Now, apparently, I think there's some physics changes going on because in the last winter pack I installed before, which is just called uh, Winter Wonderland or something like that, it did textures only. So it put this kind of snow effect on the roads uh, and the trees obviously look snowy. You'll see that when the light comes. But otherwise, there was no physics changes. This one feels different. Which is interesting, because if it's made the road more icy, and I'm taking 14 tonnes worth of fragile oversized cargo to Aberdeen, shit could get interesting. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> when I go around bends, it certainly feels like the grip's a bit lower, although it doesn't feel icy icy, it just feels a bit slippier. But I can't confirm that yet, I don't honestly know. Uh, the load is over here, obviously I'm using track IR again. And it was interesting, actually, because, well, firstly, I'm loving Track IR, on Eurotruck anyway. Um, it actually is utterly brilliant being able to do this and this and just look around perfectly naturally outside. I had a lot of comments about Track IR, a lot of people wondering how it works. A lot of people wanted to see a setup video, uh, which I will do. Come on, you knob. Get moving. Which I will do, uh, once I've got used to the whole thing, I will do a setup video. But I want to try it on some more games first to make sure I know exactly what I'm talking about when I make a setup video. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a setup video, would it? Uh, I think we're going in here. Uh, this looks right, yeah. Oh god, am I... Shit, I know this area. This is going to be pretty nasty trying to get this oversized load out of. This could get fun right from the start. 
Okay. What the hell? Why are we going to... That's not right. What's going on here like? Eh? We're supposed to be going to Aberdeen, pal. Why are we suddenly going to Linz? <laughs> um... I can't explain that one. Um, uh, but, okay. We'll take that anyway. Hmm. Not entirely sure what happened there. Now we're only going to get 26 grand and we're not going to Aberdeen. Okay, well, let's go down to Linz then. The trailer is ready. Yeah, the destination changed on me. Has that ever happened to you before? I've never seen that. Yeah, getting this thing out of here is going to be tricky in itself. Mind you, so what on earth is that? What on earth is that? Obviously it's piping, but what from? Wow, that's some weird ass shit right there. Obviously it's industrial, um, but I don't even know what it is. So the first thing people said, well some people said was get rid of all the mirrors, use the real ones because you've got track IR so you can. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so you'll see I am now using my real mirrors to reverse my truck. We're going hardcore ladies and gents. Not easy mode anymore. It has been decreed that that's what I should do. Okay, we've got it. This looks massive. The other thing is people said, why didn't you put your beacons on all the way? The reason is because I completely forgot, but I've not forgot this time. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> that is just ridiculously big. I'm going to scrape the side of this on everything. How damaged do you want this trailer? Because I can't guarantee I'm going to get it there without hitting a house. Uh, we're going right, aren't we? Um, yeah, okay. Well, slightly disappointed not to be going to Aberdeen. But we shall nevertheless persevere. Look at the size of that. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Um, so, track IR. Just to get back on subject for a second. Oh, bloody lights. Get some light traffic sensors around here, dudes. There's no traffic coming. Okay, maybe there is. Uh, yes, track IR, right? Okay, so you can look around. No problem. Look up and down, all this kind of thing. And that gives you massive flexibility. Because in this game, you, you know, as like a flight sim, you can actually look where you want to go as opposed to where you're going. And I can quickly, you know, check left and right. And I find it makes it so much easier avoiding collisions. Although I can't actually see, because you guys have maybe not used my mirrors properly now. Or rather, maybe use my real mirrors. I have to keep looking over there to check I'm not smashing into something. And screw it, I'm going down the middle of the road. Now, I have been looking at a lot of mods lately. And there are so many mods out there. One of them, um, which I haven't tried yet, actually allegedly makes the AI cars a lot better. So if you're really pissed off with the AI cars, and how could you not be, because they are a bunch of retards, quite frankly, you can get a mod, excuse me, I'm moving my head, you can get a mod that um, makes the AI cars smarter. Dude, can you go a bit faster, please? Because um, I can't overtake anymore. <laughs> It's such a wide truck, I can't... Normally I just get on the side of this guy, but that ain't gonna happen. Oh, come on. The trolling begins early on. I don't know exactly what the AI car mod is gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna make them smarter, or change their speed, or make them give way more. Or make them drive a bit faster. That would be nice. Oops. That's what I wanted. Yeah, now, <clears throat> that brings me neatly on to another comment that I've had. Squirrel, you're being flashed because you've got your main beams on. And quite frankly, I would flash if I had my beam, main beams on. Well, yeah, I know that, dude. But quite frankly, when I'm driving at night, you guys can't see an awful lot as it is. 
So I'll pop my main beams on so you uh, can at least on the video see some stuff. Because if I turn main beams off, you know, there's not an awful lot of vision. And in actual fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do if I can remember the key. And I'm going to put those overhead lights on. Uh, and I can never remember the key to that thing. Look at, oh god, look at my left mirror there. I'm actually on the barrier here. This road was not built for this trailer. There's no way I would get up here normally, I don't think. I think I'd have smashed into everything. Oh, as I'm about to do. As I am about to do. Holy shit. Nope, we made it. Luckily enough, there wasn't any cars coming when I did that. So, as I said, I am running the Winter Mod, which is Winter Mod Pack 3.0. Um, now, I'll say this. I will leave a description... Uh, sorry, a link... I thought I'd been fine then. Three and a half grand from Georgia Jailbait. She is doing well. She is doing well. She's almost at the level of Tina now. Look at that car. He just went right through. He went right through the trailer. Because it doesn't really exist for him. Because the clipping box is obviously not as wide as the actual trailer. Because it's just a mod. Um, I will leave a link in the video to the mods that I'm using however I really really and I'm repeating myself when I'm saying this but honestly guys I'm not responsible if you use one of these mods and it corrupts your save game in any way whatsoever if you install a mod you do so completely at your own risk but soon as when I don't leave links to the mods people always ask me for links to the mods I will leave links I am using Winter Mod Pack version 3 and the site where I've started getting the mods from now is different and doesn't seem to be taking you to such ridiculous download sites. Honest to God, some of the websites that I've been to for downloading mods, um, you know, I appreciate they have to or they like to make a little bit of money on the side when you click with an ad thing or try and install a downloader. You know, trying to generate a bit of revenue, but some of them are ridiculous. I mean, they go too far. They're like, oh, you can have a gold membership and you can download this mod pack in less than a minute. Or, you can use a free one and it'll take 15 minutes to download 30 meg. I mean, seriously? You know, we had faster download rates back in the modem days. They're just throttling your connection to try and make you pay for a download. Well, I'm sorry, because there's plenty of other sites out there that will just let you download the mods after you've watched a quick advert, which, you know, I'm down with that. That's cool. But some of the stuff tries to install torrenting software on your on your computer, and that shit worries me, which is quite often why I've never provided a download link to some of them, because I don't want you guys, you know, getting torrent uh, download things, or how do they put them? Internet uh, accelerators? Screw that. I need to get some fuel. Um, this could get interesting. I'm going to have to do it though. I need to get fuel and this looks like a fairly easy place to to pull into. <laughs> you can see what's going to happen. There we go. Um, that's fuel up. I seem to have actually not so bad. I thought I'd be taking out pillar and post but I'm not. Uh, so anyway I found another website that I quite like. There's a little bit, um, lets you download mods with not quite so many troubles. Hello. Cheeky. How do you like 30 tons of metal in your ass? There's a quote for you. Kaplan's going to lift that one, no doubt about that. <laughs> Hang on, that lane was closed, did you see that? I need to get out of this lane anyway. Now then, uh, so what's the other comments I get? Okay, track IR comments, I get comments about mods, but like I say, feel free to try the mods, but for God's sake, watch my mod guide video and make sure you back up your profile, as I tell you in the mod guide video. Because, I will tell you now, this wide load mod seems to have... I can't unload the mod. I can, you know, I can't... My save game is now bound to that mod. Uh, which, you know, is okay until they move up a version of the game and it becomes incompatible with the mod and then I could find myself in a bit of trouble. But we shall see. 
Um, a lot of mods don't provide a readme file. If you come, if you've ever played flight simulators um, that have a lot of mods, you know, there's, there's a huge mod community in the flight sim world. Oh look, an Aldi truck. <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm going to have to overtake this dude, which means putting the thing into the barriers. Oh, look at that clipping box. Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. Straight through the barrier. Straight through the Aldi truck. No fucks given. If you uh, play Flight Sims and you've tried the mod... The, the modding community over there are very sensible. When they provide mods, they provide readme uh, files inside. And they'll tell you what changes it makes. And if it has any dependencies. So... In an ideal world, all of the mod authors in Eurotruck would have a video, uh, a video, a readme inside the zip file. What the hell's going on here? Coming through. Looks like it can drive as normal, actually. Because the clipping box is not as wide as the actual object on the back. It suits me fine. They provide a readme file which says exactly what the mod does, what it changes, what it doesn't change. Because I've downloaded things, downloaded mods, and it'll just be a trailer skin pack, you know, allegedly. And then all of a sudden you'll notice that there's a speed limiter. Yeah? Why would you make a trailer pack with a speed limiter inside? Duh. And if you did, why wouldn't you at least document that you'd done it in a readme file? And that's the problem with a lot of these mods. And then, you know, because there's no readme file, I can't know for certain if the mod is going to change the save game and make it very difficult to remove the mod later. End results, I can't use the mod and I can't recommend it to you guys. So if you're watching this and you are a mod author, for the love of God, put a readme file in your mod zip file to let us know what it does and what it doesn't do and if it's going to affect the save game in any way then we can all make sensible decisions about whether to use your mod. And if it's a good one, you'll end up in a video. It's a win-win situation, really. Moving on. Uh, Facebook. Okay, in the last video, I said I asked for you guys to come on Facebook and you know message me or leave, post a comment on the page and let me know if you had any ideas. And you guys, honest to God, you're amazing. You sent me loads of suggestions. I mean, some of them are a bit naff. They're like, you know, hey, squirrel, I live in such a town, and could you please drive past by my house? <laughs> well, okay, try to imagine this from my situation, okay? There are thousands of people watching this, and I'm sure they'd all love me to drive past their house, but I'm not ever going to make a video where I drive past somebody's house or through somebody's hometown and go, you know, I dedicate this video to such and such who lives in Aberdeen, and I'm probably driving past his house, you know, no, it ain't gonna happen. But a lot of people did actually send me some pretty good suggestions. One of them was, and I'm doing it now, uh, well actually a few people asked for a winter pack. They asked me to do a winter pack video, which is what I'm doing. So I found a different winter pack, because you guys asked, I went, and, I went looking and I found a different one. And when the daylight comes, you should be able to see, um, it's pretty nice. In the day, it's absolutely wonderful. And I'm doing this because you guys asked for it. Because I'm nice like that. <laughs> Other things you suggested were to do with, uh, you know, wide loads and long loads and all that kind of thing. And I am looking. You know, I've got this wide load at the moment, but I am looking for... Um, I need to get off here, don't I? Mirrors. No fucks given. Here we go, down here. I am looking all the time for, for trailer mods. To see if I can take interesting cargo. Because, you know, I'm up for a challenge. And I'm sure you guys like watching me do these things. I don't want to do the same trailers all the time. You know, th there are videos. I could do videos of taking dried milk. Or some glass. But that's not quite as fun as taking a huge thing like that. Is it? That's far more fun. There's a mod that I found that lets you take a trailer full of uh, very expensive sports cars, so I might try that one. Are you, is anybody going to come down this road? I'm in the wrong lane. I can't see the road markings. <clears throat> I shouldn't really be in this lane. Never mind. And uh, I even found one with a trailer full of what looked like circus animals, like an elephant in a cage. 
and another one had sort of white vans on the back. And then you've got these kind of what's called gooseneck trailers, which look quite interesting. The sort of more for when you take in metal cargo. You know the kind of cargo... You know metal containers that come off the back of trains and ships? And then they put them, they clamp them onto trailers, and they have a gooseneck on them. And you can get a mod pack which has gooseneck trailers. Which kind of looks interesting, so I may check that one out. Uh, and then there's all kinds of weird ones, which I can't quite work out. Like this, you know where they've got double trailers? You must have seen trucks that have a trailer, and then they'll have another kind of articulated bracket to a second trailer which is kind of interesting but I don't know if the game supports that properly so I'll have to check that out and see if it actually works since I've never made a mod uh, whoa shit am I slipping here since I've never made a mod I don't know what the game lets you change and what it doesn't let you change I know for a fact having read up more you know in the oversized video I was quite worried about the size of the trailer and how long it was and how wide it was well it turns out that the trailer size in game like the collision box is just basically uh look at him see see that that's a classic example did you see that car he just drove straight through the trailer because the for him the clip box doesn't exist it's not that wide this this trailer is not this wide in the game it's still the standard size because when i'm reversing when i'm parking the markings on the floor are only so big so the box at the back if you like the invisible box around my trailer is still the same size and so I have to reverse that box into the trailer markings on the floor box however do you remember when I got not the last video the one before where I went through the tolls and the toll booth came down on the trailer and stopped me from moving there's a reason for that and the reason is what they do in order to get the overly long trailer they take the the invisible box and they move it backwards so the box is actually at the back of the trailer then there's a massive gap between the trailer and the truck it's a bit sneaky but that's what happens and so when the when the arm of the the toll booth came down it still clipped into the hitbox because the hitbox was at the back of the trailer but technically speaking you could put a car or a building between the truck and the back of your trailer because there's nothing there there's no hitbox there's no collision box and so somebody said to me you could actually have just revert you could have actually turned a corner and the lamppost could have gone right in between the middle of your trailer because there's no hitbox there it's like bloody hell all these little things you find out after you make a video it's hilarious but all the people who like to leave comments and let me know various facts you know it's great i love it i read them all as i've said before i read all of your guys comments and often I will make a video and learn some stuff like another one uh, track IR do you remember when I was in the last video I said to you the only problem is when you when you want to have a drink you kind of do this you know because I'm having a drink well in actual fact a guy commented you just press F9 if I press F9 now look I'm moving my head you can't see it but I'm moving my head and track IR is, permanent, is temporarily disabled all comes back The, oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. What a knob. Um, yeah, I was actually demoing how to bring track IR back and I pressed the DX to button. Derp. <laughs> so I just cut some audio out of my, um, out of the video. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, yeah, so you can actually pause the track IR and bring it back, but if you're a knob like me, uh, you can actually turn your DX tree off. Let's get back on the route. Next rest stop in six hours, time remaining nine. Okay, I'm going to have to find a uh, a sleep point on the way. You notice I'm not driving like a madman. Two reasons. Firstly, I've got a massive trailer, and secondly, it's snowing. Uh, and thirdly, I don't want to get down there. <laughs> These exits throw me every time. I'm kind of hoping that it'll get daylight soon. It's half past four, according to the in-game. In so it should be getting brighter real soon now. Certainly I'm going to have to rest. 
gone a minute. Next round. No, 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 no. I'm going to be there in two hours. I'm being an idiot here. Hang on. Why does it say time remaining? Nine hours. Oh, that's how long we've got left in the job. God, I'm, I just... What is wrong with me? Right, there's two hours and 38 minutes left on the job. I've got plenty of time to get there without resting. Which means this is going to be a completely nighttime video with the end bit in the daylight. Hmm, interesting. I think I'm going to make it so my next video is definitely in the day. This, what is this bridge? This looks cool. I'm going to overtake this dude. Um, actually, you know, I want to go through a tunnel because a lot of the problems with the winter mods is that because it's just really a texture the texture is all snowy on the ground but when you go inside a tunnel it's just all clean road which kind of makes sense except I think some of the snow would have at least blown in but that's probably probably a bit too much detail I've got myself in a right mess here what the hell am I doing why am I overtaking with an oversized load on like this Another thing is, somebody said that if you put your lights on, you know the four kind of spot lamps over your, over the top of the truck, if you put them on, we shit, 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 then you won't get flashed. The AI won't flash you. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Which is weird anyway, isn't it, if you think about it? Why would they stop flashing you when you put more lights on? Not entirely sure. Um, just going back to the Facebook thing, I had some other suggestions. Uh, some of them, people were basically saying, can you do the longest route in the game? Now, at the moment, there's a bit of a debate going on, and perhaps one of you guys has the answer. What is the longest possible route that you could take in this game? I would have thought it's going to be something like Aberdeen up in Scotland at one end, and then something down towards... Um, maybe Hungary or Austria sort of southeast of the map but if you know let me let me know please I'd like to go to I mean a lot of it's going to depend on trying to get a job because the jobs are random whoa shit I'm sliding a bit here doesn't it definitely feels like it doesn't want to turn as if there is some physics changes going on uh, so if you know what the longest route is in the game, let me know because I want to try that. Here we go, there's a tunnel. Are that cut Nice! Look, he's carried on all the way through. Awesome! Okay, kind of doesn't make sense, but I think I prefer it than just suddenly going clean, crisp road. Come on, dude, you don't want this behind you. You do not want this behind you. Move out of the way if I were you guys. Well, that answers the question about the tunnels. Right, uh, what's this? Is this a speed thing? I don't think I'm breaking the speed limit anyway. Okay, and one other thing I have learnt about mods, and you may want to pay attention to this because this is an important one and I may have to do another mod video at some point um, because of the stuff I've learnt the order that the mods load is important okay and you could control the order that the mods load by changing the name of the file so it goes in alphabetical order Okay, the mods are always listed in alphabetical order. Let me just get around this bend and carry on talking about mods. Shit, 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 turn, turn, turn. What the hell? That slipped like a bitch around there. Oh my god, the actually... I'm sure there are physics changes going on here because that would not turn. Look at this lamppost. Serious? Oh god. I, I honestly didn't think I was going to make it through there. When you put your mods in the mod folder, 
they are loaded alphabetically, which basically means that sometimes when you unpack a mod, you'll find out it's named ZZZZZ something. What that's trying to do is get it so that, that mod loads last, because if it loads last, it can overwrite anything from all of the previous mods that have loaded. Okay? But that also means that you can rename the file and control the order that mods are loaded in, and that is super, super important. Because if you're using something with a speed limiter or removes a speed limiter, you want that to come at the end, as in you want that to be loaded last because it will remove the speed limit last. Otherwise, anything that's going to enforce a speed limit is going to overwrite that setting later on. So that has led me to take my realistic physics mod and I've seen comments about this. People are saying, you know, I've got realistic physics loaded and I'm still speed limited. Why? Well, the answer is you've probably got another mod loading after physics that's screwing it all up. Yeah, so what I've done, and it's worked quite well for me, is I've renamed my Realistic Physics mod, and I'm using 1.7 by the way, I'm not using the latest 1.8, I noticed some problems with 1.8. 1.7 works well for me. Uh, I've renamed it to ZZZZZ uh, Realistic Physics 1.7. And as you can see, my physics is working properly, and I am not speed limited. I need to do some more testing and like I say I'll probably make another mod video in the future about it but for now I'm just letting you know what I've learnt about mods. We're coming up to the it looks like we're coming up to the destination here which is nice unfortunately it wasn't Aberdeen which is slightly disappointing but I hope you've learnt something in this video because I have talked about mods and stuff and do keep your suggestions coming on Facebook or if you notice any mods that you want me to try out um, send me the link, send me a message on Facebook with the link to it and say you know try this one or how about that one or I've tried this and it's great you know because I am looking to bring more interesting content for you guys where are we? Lintz need to press F5 there we go. Left turn. I wonder what the parking's going to be like in this one. SO. Striped protector. Oh. Okay. Quite a spacious um, delivery by the look of it. wondering where I should probably go to the left side I think and reverse in that way oh look at that car go look at that look at that bad boy I want that I want that I don't know where that's going but I want to take it oh my god that is the biggest cat digger uh, sorry bulldozer ever Okay, I'm going to have a go at this reverse thing, just using my mirrors. This looks like a freaking nightmare. Oh my god, it really does. Look at that. Shit, I don't even can do this. I need a banksman. I can't see anything. <laughs> I literally can't see what the hell is going on here. I'm going to try and, I think, just straighten it up and then drive forward. Yeah, I've missed completely. Right, let's go down that. And then reverse, hopefully. The problem is, because this... <laughs> this load is so wide, I can't see the bloody box where I'm supposed to reverse it into. Hang on, hang on a minute. I may have to have a quick. Okay. I'm not a million miles off, am I? This may seem like cheating, but think about it. If if I didn't have a banksman, which I, you know, if I if I was doing this for real, I'd have a banksman, but I don't. 
so I'd probably just get out my truck and have a look where the hell I was which is effectively what I'm doing and by the luck of things I'm not that far off I thought that was the um, the uh, you've done it symbol then and it wasn't I may end up having to skip this bloody hell I've never seen a reverse quite so difficult as this it's looking pretty good it's just straightening up a little bit now I can see the white mark on the floor come on bad boy come on get in there Why is that not... Yes! I got it. Hang on, I did have it. There you go. Bloody hell. Did it. Woohoo! <laughs> I should have got double bonus for that. 26, 27 grand. Need a level 18. The big question I must know... There it is! There it is! I can go up to Duisburg or whatever it is. I can take it. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm doing this next. I am doing this. Offer expires in 13 hours. Uh, which means I could probably take the job. And then... Actually, if it expires in 13 hours, I could go and rest. For 8 hours and then take the job, couldn't I? Okay. That's going to be all for this video. Let's have a quick look at the bank. Uh, 192 to repay, and I have 192 to repay, and I've got 181. How much was that paying? Oh, derp. 40, that's good. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the video there, because we've run out of time, and make another one where we take that cat trailer. That's going to be exciting, isn't it? That's going to be all for this video, and I'm going to stop reversing into this trailer now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. We're going to take that digger over there in a second, because this one was completely insane. That's all for me, guys. Take care. Happy trucking. <laughs>